Zach's play day represents an experience related to a child living with SMA, and it is not meant to represent the experience of everyone living with SMA. The purpose of this story is to aid in the education and awareness of SMA, to help explain the reality of life with this disease. We proudly dedicate this story to those with SMA, their families, caregivers, medical professionals, and SMA advocacy groups globally. Rise and shine, my boys. Zach's mom shouted from down the hall. Zach opened his eyes to a bright new day. As he lay waiting for his mom to lift him up, he watched as his older brother Ziggy leapt out of bed and trampled around the room getting ready. Today, his brother was taking him to the playground. Mrs. Zebra gave a hearty bray when she entered the room and saw the shirt Ziggy had put on. Honey, what have I told you about wearing spots with stripes? <laughs> she laughed. She scooped her hooves under Zach's back and helped him into his wheelchair. She then grabbed a fresh pair of socks and pulled them on for him. Let's not forget to fluff your mane, she said with a smile. Mm, let's do a mohawk today, Ma. Zach bellowed as Mrs. Zebra ran a brush through his hair. Eat up, my loves. Zach's mom called out. You don't want to miss the herd. Zach may have been in a wheelchair, but he was pretty sure he could beat half of the pack with determination. Before he knew it, he was the first to reach the gate. Zach and Ziggy liked to play hide and seek together. But today, they wanted to do something new. Zach wondered if they should join the elephants swapping trading cards, the animals playing tag in circles around the fountain, or the group of gazelles playing the latest video game. Zach felt a tap on his shoulder. He turned his head to see the belly of a giant giraffe next to him. Oh, did you hurt yourself? The giraffe asked from up high, gesturing towards Zach's wheelchair. I understand. I had my own accident last week, he said, as he pointed to his neck. Actually, I'm not hurt, Zach said. I have SMA. Oh, SM... what? The giraffe questioned. Zack noticed several other animals approaching him and Ziggy, and they all looked as curious as the giraffe did. Ziggy gave Zack a nod of encouragement as he cleared his throat and confidently said to the group that was quickly forming. I have spinal muscular atrophy. What does that mean? Asked the ostrich. Zack looked around to the group. It's actually pretty rare, and it means my body develops differently than everyone else's. Usually muscles get stronger over time, but with SMA, they get weaker. How did you get it? I was born with SMA. When I was a baby, my parents noticed I was a bit weak. It took me longer to sit up, and my legs weren't very strong, so they took me to the doctor who told them I had SMA. Does everyone with SMA use a wheelchair? The hippo asked. Zach thought about his other friends with SMA, Ping and Oliver. <laughs> no, not always. SMA is different for different individuals. Some are older, some are younger, and some need more help moving than others. We sometimes need help with other things too. Zach continued. And for this, there are gadgets and gizmos, like a special tube that can help deliver food, or machines to help with breathing and coughing. A large group had gathered around Zack and Ziggy by now, all listening closely. Zack puffed up with pride as he continued to share his story. I even have a special team. I call them my SMA squad. There's a doctor who checks my muscles and nerves. 
another squad member who stretches my body so it stays flexible, one more to make sure I have a proper diet, and I also have a breathing doctor who keeps the muscles around my lungs as healthy as possible. Just then, the animals heard a commotion on the other side of the playground. Our ball! shouted the meerkats. One by one, all of the hopping animals took turns trying to get the ball down. The frog went first, not even close. The gazelle got a running start and sprung into the air. No luck. Heads turned to the giraffe. Sorry, friends. I can't help. Doctor's orders. We've got this, said the elephant, as he put his trunk to the ground and the meerkat climbed on. He sent his long nose as high as he could toward the ball. Even with the meerkat's outstretched arm, they were still a few inches short. Everyone was so busy looking up that no one saw Zack zip around to the far side of the fountain. He had an idea. Suddenly, the water dropped to the ground and the ball rolled to a stop. All the animals looked up, surprised to see Zack's hand on the fountain's off switch. <laughs> he was smiling. When you have SMA, you use the strongest body part you've got, your brain. The animals cheered. The elephant wobbled over to Zack. A bunch of us are heading to the watering hole after this. You wanna come? <laughs>